Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to show you how you can achieve a custom hand painted wood grain look on your tumblers. Just like you see here in this mug, I've been doing these for a while now. Custom hand painted using alcohol inks and they are so popular. You can create anything the possibilities are endless you can put decals on them vinyl on them and it's just so easy so today i got you i'm going to show you how i achieve this look and how i make this custom tumbler first i start off because it is stainless steel i sand it down and spray paint the tumbler white to get a nice clean base underneath and you can tape off the bottom or you can actually paint the bottom as well but this time i taped it off so that way the stainless steel will show but go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button and the notification notification bell that way you are notified every time I post a video now let's get started with this tutorial these are the alcohol inks that I use three colors I got them off of Amazon and I'll have them linked down below coffee ginger and latte I love these color combinations and they just work great for me so I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out yourself and I use a variety of different size brushes. I never use the same brush every time. So you can pretty much use any type of brush that you want to get the effect that you're looking for. So I like to use a little bit of alcohol to start off with. I'll dip my brush in there, get it a little wet, and then I'll begin to take my alcohol inks and spread them out evenly. But first, I want to say when you're doing this, you want to make sure your hands free, that you can, you're can you able to hold your tumbler in a nice position. So I just use my tumbler turner stand, and I use that to get a nice grip of my tumbler so that way I can rotate my hand. So now I'm just using all of my inks, and I'm just going to do a nice even coat first on the entire tumbler and then I will start to design so I'm gonna actually you know go through this really quick because this is a long video and I want you to see everything so I'm not going to show every single step because it actually took me um, about pretty much a good hour to paint it to get the effect and the look and the notches and everything I want so I'm not going to bore you I'm just literally going through evening it out and then I'm going to start to begin to do my custom strokes as you'll see later on so I'm using this wider brush, which gives me more fuller coverage. And then as I start to design, then I'll actually, you know, switch off to a smaller brush. But you see, as it's dripping, sometimes I like to hold it just for a second because the ink will drip, the ink will run. But that's also depending upon how much of the alcohol that you use in the base. So because my brush was a little bit wet, um, that's why it's giving me, you know, a little bit more, but I, I need to use that so that way I can get more coverage over the tumbler since it's a 30 ounce tumbler so now I'm just gonna continue to stroke and switch out the different alcohol inks just getting the color and the consistency that I want and I'm gonna speed this up just a little bit more just so I won't bore you but the brushes that you use do give an original wood grain effect already but you just want to add a little bit more pizzazz to it a little bit more pizzazz so you see with each stroke you get those kind of wood grain lines already but you just need to go in and just make it more custom and make it your own now here's where the fun begins and I get to get creative and make up something original for each and every tumbler. So now I get to go in, I'm using a smaller brush and I create my strokes. I do not create straight lines. I try to make sure they're curved. I'm creating my notches and it's kind of hard to explain, but it's going to definitely be trial and error. You might look like nothing is forming or it might not come out the way you want, but just be patient because these tumblers do take time. As I said earlier, this took me about a good hour because this particular customer wanted his really dark so it's going to be layers and layers of alcohol ink and I'm just going to keep going over it line by line till I get the look that I desire I'm going to create the strokes now you can use actual um, wood grain images or pictures if you want to google but I have never done that I just go on basically my own feeling my instincts and however my hand desires to lead me so when you gather and and push the ink together those you can create the dark lines as you see so as I'm pushing the alcohol ink um, more closer together I can gather and create the darker lines so I use different patterns different techniques to create the looks that I want I can smudge I can dap I can you know gather the ink together push it all close together but those create different effects and different techniques for different looks 
And the more practice you get, the more times you do it, the better you'll become, the better your technique will become. So just be patient because they do take time. I'm going to sit back and let you enjoy watching this Tumblr tutorial because it is sped up. Some parts are cut out because they do take a lot of time. But the one thing that I do want to point out also, when you're going from section to section, make sure that you let the alcohol ink um, or your Tumblr rest just for uh, you know a few seconds because the alcohol ink will run. So as I'm turning and going around the tumbler to make my way around, I make sure that I hold my hand steady just for a second so that way it will dry a little bit. But if you do mess up, the good thing about this alcohol ink and doing these wood grain tumblers is that the ink is so forgiving. Just add more ink and start again. So as you see here, the tumbler is getting darker and darker. It's coming to life. So sit back, relax, enjoy the tumbler magic and see how it turns out. Right here I'm going to show you how I create one of my notches and I'm actually just going to create a dark center like one of the dark holes and I just use the ink and I just gather it together. I keep dapping and I keep adding more alcohol ink to get the center nice and dark because the ink will run so I need to keep applying the ink and I just need to keep dapping it and smudging it in the center gathering it together until I get the look that I want. So after about an hour of hand painting, this is how it finally looks, how it turned out. I'm removing the tape from the bottom so you can see the stainless steel, but my customer wanted it nice and dark, a lot of notches, really manly. So this is my custom wood grain. Now let's go apply the decals and finish the tumbler. These are my water slides. And of course that's my washing machine. Working late using my Rust-Oleum two times clear gloss sealer. And I'm just gonna give this a light spray. I'm gonna do this three times as always, 30 minutes in between each spray. Okay, I'm about to apply the water slides to the tumbler. <clears throat> this time I actually didn't cut them out because I'm using clear. So I'm just gonna cut around it and see how that works. I always cut extra. So with the clear, it doesn't have to be precise. Transparent water slide, I'm just going to cut around it, cut very close to it. And that'll be fine. I'm just getting off, you know, excess that I don't need. You know, even though it's transparent, you still want it to be neat. So that should be good. Um, I'm going to let it be good. I'm going to see how that works out. Okay, so I have some room temperature water. I did seal my alcohol ink with acrylic sealer just because it will, I don't want the ink to run. That's completely ready. So let's see how this looks on here. He does want that wood grain to pop, so that's why I'm using a transparent water slide. 
it would look much better if it was a lighter shade of wood grain. So I'm actually going to move it to the lighter side. Just so it can be um, seen more. Straight out of Brooklyn. Kind of hard to see because the wood grain is really dark. And I'm using my finger to feel. That's actually good. And while I'm gonna be blotting this dry, I'm gonna let that one start soaking. Wipe that off. See, can hardly see the edges of the water slide gonna wet the top of this okay the water slide is ready already and I just want to get this nice and centered <clears throat> with the words Definitely, I need to pick it up. And let's smooth this back out, those edges. I'm just going to take it and lay it, slide it right down. I need you to, there we go. I need you to come over, actually. Try to make sure it's nice and centered. Now I'm gonna smooth that out. Okay, I like the way that look. I wish it was a bigger, a bigger um, biggie image, but that's good. It's not too big, not too overpowering. It's straight out of Brooklyn, you can see it. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm centered because I definitely gotta be centered when I put the next one. I'm gonna start with dog. I'm just gonna wet this area. So the lighter the wood grain, of course, the more the image will show. So I should have actually made it just a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna slide it off. Oh, come on, right here. So I could have used the I like to slide down from the top. Just trying to make sure I have everything straight. Making sure I got it in the right position that I want it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out if I can. Because I literally probably let it sit too long. You see with the water slide, I can just curve that better. Get all the water out. Okay. 
and this part is ready. I'll come back and flatten. I just want to make sure I have everything aligned. And I'm just going by eyes. You can definitely do it a different way. And that's the decals. Nice and smooth. Now let's get ready to epoxy it. I went ahead and taped the insides, of course, so nothing gets on the inside. So now I'm gonna do the same to the bottom and get ready to put it on the turner. Okay, so I have the tumbler on the turner. I have about 30 mLs mixed up. That might be a little bit too much. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get started. And this time I'm just gonna go down, so I don't, I don't want anything to get in the cup. So I'm gonna go down. This is just the first layer. Making sure I get the bottom. See where those edges, nice. Now I'm going to go pay attention to the middle. And one last time. I don't worry about the air bubbles because I'll definitely get ready to pop those out when I hit it with my heat gun. I do see a lot of air bubbles this time around. So I'm going to go get the heat gun right now to start making sure I pop those bad boys. So I'm going to use my Wagner heat gun. Make sure I'm hitting the entire mug. The epoxy just makes this wood grain hot. Making sure I get everything. I 
and as you see all the air bubbles are gone. I love that heat gun. I have it linked down below for you guys. I'm gonna drop my phone in the epoxy. <laughs> that would be bad. And here's an up closer look. See that that little part. That's the only little area. Okay, so I'm going to apply my second coat of epoxy now. I actually had to go out of town, came back, and I'm finishing this tumbler. And I just have 20 mLs mixed up, 20 mLs. Stir that for a good three to five minutes. And now I'm just gonna go and apply. I get I I gave it a light sanding. It didn't really need that much sanding, so it was pretty much good. I just had to sand just down here so you can still see the sand marks, but once you put on the next coat of epoxy, it completely goes away. excuse how I look I am so tired just got back from New York and now I have to turn right back around and go back leaving tonight so I'm trying to hurry up and wrap up this video because I'm actually going to be hand delivering this to actually my best friend who ordered this so instead of putting it in the mail I am going to take it to him um, it does need to cure for another 24 hours but it's been off of the turner it turned for the last time I did it it's three coats of epoxy um, it's turned for a full, like 10 hours from last night and it's sat ever since like eight this morning and it's about five in the afternoon. So I would say another 24 hours, um, and it should be good. I'm just going to go ahead and clean everything up the inside and then I'll give you a closer look up front. Um, I'm just going to be very careful with the epoxy because even though it's hard, it's not fully, fully cured. And I don't need anything damaged in this um, tumbler. <laughs> I already used acetone to clean up the bottom to get rid of any, you know, like paint residue or anything. There's just a few little drippings of epoxy at the bottom. So I know a lot of people don't show this process like the cleaning process. So I'm just showing what I normally do, how I, you know, get it looking like a brand new tumbler. Because, you know, of course, you, you know, we're doing these things at home. So, you know, they're not always perfect. Things happen. So I just take my X-Acto knife and clean up, get off any excess epoxy. I use alcohol, acetone. <laughs> my son. I use alcohol, acetone to clean everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to do that. And then I'll give you a closer look up close once it's done. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I post weekly content on all crafts, DIYs, and just everything tips to help you grow your business. So I would definitely love to have you. I try to post twice a week. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button because it would definitely help my channel to grow. I appreciate everyone who has been um, coming back for the videos and tutorials. I really appreciate it because you guys are helping me out too. Sometimes you guys, you know, give me suggestions in the comment and I, I definitely appreciate it. So I appreciate all the love and I want to keep these videos coming. So if you have anything that you want to see, definitely let me know. Definitely hit me up. And I'll be sure to try to get to it and make a video on that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys some nice little music while I finish this video. 
and get out the rest of this epoxy that got like on the rim. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.